stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the Feast of St. Mark Evangelist. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Holy Spirit will now begin. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished death. Through his death and resurrection, Christ has saved us all. We too shall rise in glory if we believe in Him. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished death. Members all of God's own household, citizens of heaven. We are no longer strangers, children of God instead. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the feast of St. Mark the Evangelist, the first of the Gospels. The three Gospels are based on his written account. He was closely associated with St. Peter. Let us ask today for greater love for scriptures from St. Mark so that we will be able to understand what God wants of us as we are threatened by a lot of problems in the world today. Before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and to so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you commanded us to go into the old world, proclaim the gospel, gospel to every creature. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in our mission. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with, your, with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to peace. 
Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant to pray that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Lord be 
with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world, proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick. They will recover. Then the Lord Jesus they spoke to them, was taken up into heaven, took his seat at the right hand of the Father. But he went forth, preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them, confirmed the word through accompanying signs. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening again. St. Mark, whose feast we celebrate today, also martyred for the faith, is mentioned in the first reading, letter of St. Peter. I send you greetings, as does Mark, my son. It was also a difficult time. They were persecuted. Countless Christians were killed by the emperor, Roman emperors, including St. Peter. So St. Peter advised them, clothe yourselves with humility. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries on him because God cares for you. Very consoling words. Be sober and vigilant. Kailangan daw laging nagmamatyag. Churis. Be steadfast in the faith knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. So, God will restore us, confirm us, strengthen us, and establish us after all the sufferings that we endure. Sabi ni St. Peter, to him be dominion forever. In the Gospel of St. Mark, it is the Lord telling us, go into the whole world, proclaim the Gospel to every creature. So, inuutusan tayo. Every Christian, by virtue of baptism, is missionary. Kailangan nating sundin ito. Go into the whole world. So, there are special missions. Kami yun, But everyone is a missionary. We could not be, do our special mission to go to Kenya and Mexico and Brazil without you. Especially, paulit-ulit po naming pinapasalamatan kayo dahil nag-survive kami ng COVID because of your generosity. So kasama kayo sa aming misyon na natitrain namin yung mga seminarista. Hindi kami nagutom. Lakas pa naman kumain yan kasi mga bata pa eh. Laging nagbabasketball yun eh. Napapakain namin. Sa inyo na galing yun. Missionary kayo. Pero maliban sa financial help, yung dasal ninyo ang mas kailangan namin. Kasi sabi nga ni St. Peter, your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Especially missionaries. Kasi alam niya, sa pamamagitan niyan, nagkakaroon ng pananampalataya napapalakas ang pananampalataya ng mga tao. Kasi kaya dubli-dubli din ang aming mga temptations. Kaya salamat sa dasal ninyo. Nabuhay pa ako hanggang ngayon. Yung sabi ng Panginoon na they, they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. 30 years po ako sa Smoky Mountain. Yung ibang missionary, nagka, nagkasakit, Buhay pa ako hanggang ngayon eh. 
Marami din akong I laid my hands, sabi dito. They will lay their hands on the sick, they will recover. I see you pa nga, gumising. Kahit makasalanan pala, pinapakinggan ng Panginoon. So, yung mga patutuo, nangyayari ngayon, kung may sapat tayo na pananampalataya, we could still be missionaries. Sabi ni St. Teresa, o Babila, panalangin ninyo yung mga missionaries kasi sa siyudad daw, mga yung mga matatanda retired ng mga demonyo mga nanonokso yon madali kasi hindi mo na kailangan tuksohin pero yung mga pink sisters yung mga specially trained na mga devils daw yan yung pina kasi nagdadasal eh so kung kayo natutukso sabi ni St. Peter be steadfast resisting the devil in the faith So they will also drive out demons. Hindi ko lang yan masyadong kinarir yung mag-drive out demons kasi sa Smoky Mountain ang dami doon na inaalihan ng demonyo eh. Nagbabago ang tinig na parang galing sa lupa. Kinikilabutan pa ako pag naiisip kong kasama ko si Father Jerome doon. Dalagita, pero kung magsalita, parang drive out demons. Kaya lang, titirahin ka rin ng demonyo. Pag nagpagaling ka ng may sakit, titirahin ka rin ng demonyo. Kaya yung mga banal na lang gagawa niyan. Ang gagawin ko, tatanim ng kawayan, gagamitin ng technology para mapaaral natin yung mga bata. Tapos, yung mga mar- farmers, pinapagamit namin, nagtitinda na tayo. Wala pang teknolojiya yan. Pero, tadating din tayo dyan na i-deliver na lang sa inyo yung organic food na galing sa Patangas, Noy Baisiha, kung saan saan. Hindi ako masyadong nililigalig ng demonyo pag ganyan. Eh. Pero pag nagpapagaling ka na may sakit, ginugulo ka niya. Pag nagpapalayas ka ng demonyo, ginugulo ka niya. Eh, kulang pa ako ng kabanalan kaya dito na lang ako para kaunti na lang sa inyo magkakakanser yun ang aking misyon kasi sabi nga go into the whole world proclaim the gospel to every creature iba iba tayong papel na gidagampanan kayo meron yung misyon nyo maliban sa pagtulong sa amin yung primary mission palakihin ninyo yung mga anak ng ayos. Kayo mga lolo at lola, huwag ninyong i-spoil yung mga bata para magkaroon ng tamang values. Pagdasal ninyo. Yung mission ninyo yan. Huwag na kayong mangarap na pupunta pa ng Afrika. May pamilya na kayo, dyan kayo, primary yan. Tulungan nyo na lang yung mga pink sisters, tulungan nyo kami. Pero yan ang una ninyong gagawin. Pagkatapos, ito ang huli kong sasabihin. Kailangan magkaisa tayo para yung panibagong mission, yung modern sense of mission, sabi ni Pope Francis. Ganito ang kanyang sinabi. Nagsalita siya sa United Nations, pero ito galing sa US, sa US Congress noong 2015. Sabi niya, Now is the time for courageous actions and strategies. Kailangan na yung kumilos. Pagdadasal, tapos kikilos. Ora, itlabora. At hindi ilang kilos na kung saan-saan. Strategic. Ginagamit ang isip. Gumagawa ng paraan para mas maraming makinabang. Kaya yung strategy natin, ikukunek directly yung mga magsasaka sa inyo. Pumayag na yung obispo. Buong diocese. Inorganisa na Laudato Si Consumers Co-op. Ang strategy po natin, may, tic, may parang Lazada po tayo, parang Shopee. Doon, kayo maki, doon ninyo makikita ang produkto ng mga magsasaka. Ganyan strategy po yan. Mas maraming mapaglilingkuran. Mas efficient. So hindi tayo pwedeng magpapakain na lang lagi. Hindi natin kaya yan. Wala tayong resources. Kailangan what little resources we have, strategic 
para maximize ang kanya effect and we will make a significant difference. Yan yung pagsunod natin sa 21st century ng utos ng Panginoon, go into the whole world, proclaim the gospel to every creature. Kaya ang sabi ni Pope Francis, now is the time for courageous actions and strategies. Para ano? Ano ang objective? Implementing a culture of care. Hindi power, hindi aggressiveness. Kaya ng Vladimir Putin, walang kamalay-malay yung Ukraine. Bigla na lang. Ah, dahil libo-libo na ang namamatay ngayon. Hindi po yan. Pati yung abortion, pati yung euthanasia, yung lalasunin mo na lang yung mga matatanda kasi wala nang paginabang. Laban sa culture of care po yan. Life ang ating pinaglalaban. So yan ang una. Ibunsod. Promote a culture of care. Pus, sabi ni Pope Francis, an integrated approach to combating poverty. Ang dami pong 25 million ata yung below the poverty line sa ating bansa. Restoring dignity to the excluded. Yung mga nasa laylayan ng, hapu, ng lipunan daw, ibalik ang kanilang dignidad at kadakilaan. At the same time, protecting nature. Yan yung nagtatanim tayo ng kawayan. Noong Sabado, andun yung mga seminarista, kinaladkad ko lahat, pinagtanim ko ng bambu. Samantalang bata pa, andito na sa puso nila itong protecting nature kasi konektado tayo dyan. Yung kinakain natin galing sa daigdig. Yung ating ustia at saka yung ating alak, galing po yan. Kay inang daigdig, sina sa laula natin. So yan po yung mga bagong pamamaraan ng pagmimisyon. Hindi lang simpleng pupunta ka ng Afrika, eh, kasi iba ang mga problema ngayon kisa noong panahon ni San Pedro eh. Kaya magdasal po tayo ngayon. Manalangin tayo na masunod natin yung mga pasubali at Mungkahi, ni St. Peter's first reading, clothe yourself humility, humble yourself before the, might, the mighty hand of God, cast all your worries upon Him, be sober and vigilant, be steadfast in the faith. Tapos sundin din natin yung sabi sa Evangelio, go into the whole world, proclaim the gospel to every creature. Sabi ni Pope Francis Alodato si, hear the cry of the poor, and hear the cry of Mother Earth. Diyan po ang misyon natin ngayon. Go into the whole world. Isa na lang ang world ngayon. Maggira sa Ukraine, tataas ang gasolina rito. Tumaas na naman. Hanggang saan kaya? Yeah. Mahal na ang mga bilihin. Kukulangin pa tayo ng pagkain kasi yung Ukraine at Russia, sila po yung nagpapatuan ng nagsasaka ng kinakain natin pati tayo rito yung ating tinapay yung ating pandisal minsan galing doon niya so ang hirap ng buhay ngayon inuutusan pa tayo go into the whole world ito po ang ating gagawin pakinggan natin ang hinaing ng mga maralita na strategic and courageous ganun din ang ating gagawin sa pagpakikinig sa hinaing ni Inang Daigdig upang masunod natin ang otos ng Panginoon. Go into the whole world. Proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved and whoever does not believe will be condemned. At the end of time, the reason one, Jesus, who conquered death, will come back again to judge each of us. If we were obedient, if we obeyed His command to proclaim the gospel to every creature, let us pray that we will be faithful to our mission. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, Saint Mark, the evangelist, proclaimed the good news, 
of the true Messiah, Jesus the Christ. And he showed us the goodness of God. Let us ask the Father to hear our intentions for a world in need of the hope of the gospel. And we pray that we be given strength to go into the whole world and proclaim the good news of salvation. Let our response be, let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That those who wandered away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That young people may hear the voice of our Lord, calling them to conversion and to a life of service. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That all those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. In silence, let us pray for our other intentions. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Almighty Father, assisted with prayers of St. Mark, faithful herald of the gospel, we bring our intentions before you today to Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. A duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere. To give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God. For you. Eternal divine word. Do not desert your flock. But through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Eucharistic prayer, God guides his church along the way of salvation. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, Lord our God, because you love us and you always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, eternal divine word, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens scriptures and breaks the bread in the celebration of the Eucharist. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. The 
for most holy father as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your son our savior whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand we proclaim the work of your love till he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation look with favor in the offering of your church in which we show forth Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we can proclaim the gospel to every nation, as you commanded. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your faith, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is over, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Mark, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven, that he might forgive our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, in the prayer Jesus, the risen one, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who triumphed over death and darkness, and who has commanded us to go into the whole world to preach the gospel to every creature. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong 
in the faith of the gospel which Saint Mark proclaimed. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. the Holy Spirit. God, Holy Spirit, we have been taught by Jesus, the Son of the Eternal Father himself, to believe in your infinite majesty and to reverently adore you as the third person of the Blessed Trinity, whose very being defies comprehension. Full of joy, we sing the praises of your love which cooperated in the creation, redemption, and sanctification of the human race. With all the angels, we praise and bless you. O Holy Spirit, we praise you as the one true God with the Father and the Son. God, Holy Spirit, we praise you because you proceed from the Father and the Son from all eternity. Creator Spirit, we praise your power by which you created everything from absolute nothingness. Most lovable Holy Spirit, we praise your immense goodness in giving life to choirs of angels. Divine Artisan, we praise your admirable wisdom by which you created heaven and earth and adorned them so beautifully. Font of eternal grace, we praise your infinite mercy through which you prepared the redemption of the human race from the very beginning. Spirit of beauty, we praise your lavish generosity by which you chose and beautified the Virgin Mary to be your immaculate spouse. Divine Spirit of anointing, we praise that love by which you created, guided, and glorify the human nature of Jesus. Eternal fire of love, we praise that gentle force with which you took hold of the apostles when they were gathered together in Jerusalem. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, we praise you because of the marvelous love by which you begin to live in our hearts 
through holy baptism. Divine Paraclete, we praise you for the sevenfold strength which you grant us through the sacrament of confirmation. Immeasurable goodness, we praise you because of the bread that you give us in the sacrament of the altar. Merciful Spirit, we praise your treasures of grace through which you cleanse and sanctify us in the sacrament of penance. Father of the poor and the sick, we praise you for that sacramental blessing and anointing through which you refresh the sick. O Royal Spirit, we praise that marvelous love through which you grant divine powers to your chosen ones in the sacrament of ordination. Holy Spirit, giver of life, we praise you for those gifts of the grace by which you open a way of heavenly knowledge to those whom you call to a life of sacramental matrimony. O leader of all people, we praise you for that love through which all the just on earth follow you. O Holy Spirit, fullness of true holiness, we praise you for the eternal love by which all saints in heaven embrace you. O Holy Spirit, delight of the heavenly Jerusalem, we praise you for the everlasting love by which the holy seraphim and all the choirs of angels love you. O font of all that is beautiful in love, we praise you for that undivided love which you shower on your immaculate bride without ceasing. Generous bestower of grace, we praise the immeasurable love with which the heart of Jesus has never ceased to love you. Spirit of the Father, we praise that infinite delight with which God the Father, who is without source, breathes you forth from all eternity. Spirit of the Son, we praise that infinite delight with which the Word of God breathes you forth from all eternity. We praise and bless you forever, Holy Spirit, love of the Father and the Son, indestructible bond and infinite joy of the most blessed Trinity. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God, we open our hearts to receive you, that we may learn how deeply and invisibly you are present everywhere. Give us stillness in your presence. Calm us within through the gentleness of your peace. Strengthen our faith with the awareness of your presence. Confirm the hope within us with the knowledge of your strength. Give us fullness of love through the outpouring of your gifts. Holy Spirit, be to us a source of light and strength and courage so that we may hear your call ever more clearly and follow it ever more generously. In the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we, we confess, confess our sins, sins, and we humbly come, come to you to find forgiveness and life. And life. We, we come, come to you in our need to seek your protection against, against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, 
that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Mark, pray for us. Saint Arnold Jensen and Joseph Prenadimitz, pray for us. given them bread from heaven containing in itself all sweetness let us pray who God this wonderful sacrament you have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption you live and rule world without end Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mass and benediction are ended. Go to the whole world to proclaim the gospel of peace. Thanks be to God. Regina Jelina.